Hey, doing here. Okay, the Zillia virus scanner is finally finished on the um, ASRock Windows 7 system, and uh, it put in a couple more, actually the same things, but in different. Yeah, different directories. Uh, kind of weird. SDA1, doc, well, I'm going to start at the top where it makes most sense. The uh, <coughs> GSWIN32 that says it's an AdWare soft plus. I may look that up and see what it is. There's a web browser in this uh, rescue system. And uh, I'm trying to hold. I'm having a hard time holding still today. And. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the rest of them. What, what seems odd is, you know, SDA, that's my C drive. Users done. Um, cam space. Color cop. Probably something I thought I'd try. I don't even remember it. Picasa. And then, but then there's documents and settings done. Downloads. So, don't, and it's the same thing same exact file. That's the same place. Why is it seeing it in two different ways? I don't know. <coughs> okay, so. I cough so much I get tired of apologizing for it. Um, select all, but then I'm going to take out that uh, GS Win 32C. Now, I'll make this small enough where I can get over to my desktop. And, oops, no, where is it? Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, Z Live CD Web. Okay, so it's some web browser. Whoops. This is in Russian again. Okay, but it's a web browser. So, I was just wondering what Aurora. Okay, I can see that. It's Aurora web browser. Okay. Has to be a Google search. I can't copy and paste from over there. I wanted to. GS Win 32C execute. Okay, I'll have to try to do that with one hand. GS Win 32C. That's before I hit enter. I'm going to look again. GS win GSWIN 32C execute exe uh, now hit enter. <coughs> it better not be in Russian, <laughs> but I don't suppose it would. A lot of some of it is. This is the strangest system with this. Evidently, they've translated it, but it didn't all take. Ghost script. How to install Ghost script? Ghost script. Yeah, okay. Maybe it is Ghost Script. From Windows Command Line Program. This is usually. The doorbell rang. Well, there's somebody else here. They can get it. it may just be a delivery. Oh, but when I try to right click, I was going to right click and open, and I don't know which one is which. Yeah, I think I hear a truck leaving. Probably a Walmart order or something. Just got through making another one. I order everything I can that way with the free shipping so I don't have to go get it. I don't drive much anyway, so. What is GS132C execute? It is a type of execute file, so it's with comic book creator developed by Planetwide Media for the Windows operating system. Last known version. Why do I have error? XEXE errors. Okay. Common GS Win 32 error. I hadn't had any errors, of course I never even tried to use it. D 
do not recommend downloading it from download sites. Well, okay, so I guess people probably virus scanners deleted and then you get the missing file error. Let's go here where it says this, how to install ghost script. Get back here where when I if I move a little bit I won't completely get off the screen. And yes that John Mosquito is still here even after I left the room many times and thought maybe he'd follow me or something. He, if he did, he followed me back. PostScript file distributed with GhostScript. PDF. What I really want to know is what does it do? I guess I should have. It just tells you how to install it, but it didn't really say anything about what it is and what it does. If it is, I just didn't see it quicker. Oh. The error when opening a PDF. So it's got to do with reading PDFs. So the biggest problem everybody has here is... Uh, but here's one. Well, here's one. Uh, ah, GPL, go script, non download free. Maybe this will tell me more about what it is. General public license, screenshots. It's a free uh, source interpreter for the PostScript language and the Adobe Portable Document Format. It works along with different programs. It's a raster image processor. Ah, oh, okay. So it's a P. It's part of a PDF program, reading program. And only other thing I want to see is there seems to be a virus that's. It didn't go anywhere. Huh. That's weird. Well, I think the whole web browser is locked up or something. There. What's that? Oh, that's Celia. Okay. I didn't just lose my internet connection, did I? But it's supposed to says it here. But it's a general public license. GPL. Usually when you see something like that, it's an alright program. And here's a rating on whatever site this is. Software Informer. Oh, I've been on that site lots of times when I was looking things up. It doesn't have a super great rating. Three point not some super bad, but Let's see if it'll go back to my search results. <coughs> doesn't want to come in. I don't know why I would have lost my search results. Let's do this then. It's still up here in my search window. <coughs> Let's search again. That one just won't work. Maybe I don't know why it won't go there. Okay. Hit stop before I try anything else. Won't go to Wahoo, Wahoo Answers. Okay. What is. There's one I didn't go to yet. I guess there's not enough add ons for everything to work on these sites. Fake AVLTR. Yeah, okay. It's uh, located, usually located in the um, 
Program files, GS, GS. Well, this one's different a little bit, but it's close. Uh, some antiviruses while total detected and have additional information about. If you have additional information, share it. Please post. Does not have any vendor vendor information. It's not signed. I guess that's why it's throwing things off. 2% detection rate. Now, 8% not detected. Okay, and then what do people do with it? 8% kept it, 20% got rid of it. <coughs> so, I like to save all these things when I search this sort of stuff, but this is a temporary operating system. It's just adware. It doesn't say anything about it being any more than that. So those are the ones I'm going to get rid of. Everything else, I got. I wonder if I'll get errors on the deleting because there seem to be duplicate entries of the same files with a different way of saying the same address. Well, let's just say delete, select it, and go that way and see what happens. They're all checked off now, so, except for that one. Yeah, it just stopped. It doesn't say anything. I'll try hitting it again. No. Well, I know they're all gone now, so. That's kind of an odd behavior. Uh, not that I haven't seen that before. Actually, Clam AV in uh, Linux does it quite often. It shows the uh, same address, and I suppose I did. I think it actually looks the same when you look when you look at it. But uh, anyway, you'll get errors, and then you've got to unselect and do the you know kind of figure. Actually, sometimes it'll be the, if it's the same file name but in a different area. Let's make that bigger. Well, I can see it all. If it's the same file name but in a different area, it'll get errors until you empty the the uh, quarantine delete it delete it out of the quarantine folder and then it'll go ahead and do it so I don't think you can go and do that here but I, the, I've you know I looked at it so close enough to see that it's the same place so I'm not leaving them behind you select I'll try it again just from yeah okay Yeah, well, it was this. <coughs> it was the same thing, just a different way of showing it. Okay. Yeah, and that one I don't believe is a virus. Just, it's just adware. So, you know, there's going to be ads in most of these Windows programs. I know I said that before, right? Well. Since I really looked this one up, I think I'll be alright. Because obviously everybody's getting errors because their virus software is. And I can always go uninstall the program since I don't even remember it. It may be a program that I actually like to use and I just didn't pay attention to the name of it. Hmm. I'm in the mo I'm kind of in the way here. I, I deleted it, but not the other three. I'm in the way of just I don't care. I just want to get everything that could possibly cause any trouble. <coughs> I don't think it really was a virus. I think it was or mal or Trojan or you know even even actual malware. I think it's just ads for the program. Now the program won't work. I'm sure. So then I guess I'll know to uninstall it if I click on it. I can remember that. <coughs> if it was associated with PDFs as the main, uh, you know, like the go to program, then uh, I'll definitely find errors the first time I open a PDF. But after all these scans, and I'm still coming up, like this is what's a big surprise is those which are gone now, but these are files that no other program flagged. Or I would have just already deleted them right there in my downloads folder. So, uh, 
I may go ahead and boot into Windows and see how it runs. See if my Firefox is still opening up on its own and trying to go to that uh, click fraud website. <coughs> It was uh, the, it was a uh, not an actual virus, but a auto click program that would make your people's web browsers open up and go to this website where they had ads, and then they would make money from all the clicks. And uh, that site was not there anymore, but there was one of a very similar name, which was probably the new. You know, it probably got took down, so they just put up another one. So. It was a real learning experience on this one. It's too hard to use with all the Russian text in there. Although it does seem to be rather thorough. And it is automatic. So I guess if you can deal with guessing at some of the menus, then it might be alright. Hmm. That thing there, that far. still gets me as to what that is and where it really is. Far Internet Explorer Scanner. Program Files Users Root. Okay, Zillia. And the, win the Windows folder is what gets me. Got all kinds of Windows files in there. And this is in the live file system, not... Oh clicked on that in this time and it let me pick from all this stuff. Didn't do that before. Pick Z. Okay, I was in C. Let's try Z. Now I'm able to get where I wanted to get before, looks like. That's the whole file system now. Huh click on the D and it said no that's in there oh it'll do FTP stuff too okay so get out of there those are gone that, that's weird if I didn't know you know have the experience that I have I would be sitting right here going what the heck this is not working it's screwed up and it kind of is screwed up but I did at least I paid enough if I had been paying attention I'd be going, what's wrong with this? I'm really getting frustrated. Because it wouldn't delete those three and I wouldn't know why. But I did receive, I haven't noticed there were duplicates. So, nothing really, whoops. Okay, that finally does show the desktop. I didn't think it did it before. Oh, here's the shutdown. There's a calendar, language selector. Whoops. <coughs> Not any, really anything else to it. <coughs> what's this? Oh, this is a system monitor telling you what's going on. This looks like uh, top. It's top system monitor. It's a term, a command line or a terminal window system monitor. It's actually pretty good. A little easier to read. I like the graphic ones better. Easier to read. Okay, and the little shutdown is over there with the little green running man on the green running man. Can't tell if I'm showing it or not. Yeah, there we go. So that's it. Oh, guess what? Okay, that was probably a reboot. That's probably log out, and that looks like the shutdown because it's got the switch on it. So let's do it. Looks like it did it. <coughs> Actually, yeah, it's telling me. Yep. Power off. Okay, it did it. Let's retrieve our trusty USB stick. USB SD stick. SD card and USB adapter. And uh, I'm going to stop this one. I may boot it up in Windows. I guess if I'm going to do that, I'd probably want to show it. But I may do it later. i got a headache. I'm tired. I might have got bit by too many mosquitoes with germs on them. Right, uh, I was outside the last few days. I got kind of a headache and my throat's kind of sore-ish. It's either that or breathing that toxic fumes from 
and I was staying, you know, I had the fan running, it was breezy outside, and I was trying, I, and I even held my breath in between, you know, while I was pulling the trigger on the gun, but just on the spray gun. But, uh, anyway, something's got to me. So I may not mess with that right now. I'm going to wait. All right. Well, see how it goes. Don't be back when I get on it again.